Um, but I, I am fascinated by this narrative, and I'm a sucker for it as well, because like I love this idea that Bruce Wayne is going to use all of his money and fortune to, to go punch people in the face, or Tony Stark's going uh, yeah. to save us. And then we look to somebody like uh, you know Elon Musk, um, who might be one of the better of, of the billionaires, or God, Sheldon Adelson, who is never put on a rubber suit and punched anyone in the face, I swear to you. <laughs> At no point has he stood up for justice. Yeah, I wonder about these narratives sometimes because we do yearn for these this one percent these these rich people to do the right thing. I wonder when I don't know, maybe, when are we going to get smarter? I guess when when do those narratives go away? Because <laughs> they're not doing it. They're they're going to be Donald Trump uh, Jr. out there not rowing, not not doing yeah. working as hard as they could. You know, I mean, so I I went to college with. I really was exposed to really wealthy kids the, when I first got to college and I couldn't believe it. I remember uh, the convocation where the president of Brown gets up and he's speaking and he's, he's congratulating everyone about like, we are the most valedictorians and blah, 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 we've ever had. And then he's like, and for the first time, over 33% of you are attending on some form of financial aid. And I remember looking around the room because I, I was one of the guys on financial aid. The guy who's my writing partner now was one of the guys who was there on financial aid and being like, I can't believe that two thirds of you have so much money that your family just writes a $40,000 check every year. Just, just bangs that out. I would have thought they were like, 10 families in America <laughs> that, could, that could write that total. And it was the first time I ever really got exposed to those kids. And then you start interacting with them and like as many of there were who were like Donald Trump juniors, there were still just as many who were perfectly cool people and really wanted to, wanted to make something better. And I, I don't know. I've just, Maybe I'm trying to hope that a, more people hold on to that as they get older is uh, fewer and fewer people just leaning into uh, kind of a me first mentality. Uh, they would agree. I would agree. Yeah. <laughs> I hope, hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>